So in the last video, we had added our pan responder to our image. But if we pan on the image, we notice that all the images move. We only want the top image to be moving. So for that, if you remember at the top here, we had set up a state in which we had set current index equal to zero. We're going to use this to only apply the pan responder to the topmost image. So coming here in our render users method, what we'll do is we'll say if i is less than this dot state dot current index, this will be updated once we swipe the images. But let's assume once the image has been swiped, we don't want to see it again. So we'll return null. The next scenario would be if i is equal equal to this dot state dot current index. That is, it is the image which is right on top. That time we want to return this particular view. Else, it's a card which is not the top card. So we want to just return an animated view which does not have the pan responder. So let's just copy that here and remove the pan responder. We'll also remove this position because we don't want it to animate. Now if we test this out, we can see that only the top card will move and the other cards do not move. Now let's start animating our top card. So here come to our constructor and create a new animated value. So we'll say this dot rotate and we'll interpolate on the position value to get our rotation. So we'll say this dot position dot x dot interpolate. Interpolate takes an input range and an output range. So for our input range, what we'll take is we'll take half the screen width to the left and half the screen width to the right. So we'll say negative screen width divided by two, zero. And then to the right, we'll go screen width divided by two. So when the user swipes towards the left, half of the screen width, we want the rotation to be negative of 10 degrees. When it's at the center, we want it to be zero. And when it's towards the right, we want it to be a positive of 10 degrees. Also, we don't want the animation to extrapolate automatically. We want it to clamp at 10 degrees. So we'll say extrapolate of clamp. And here, this should not be zero, but this should be zero degrees. Now we need to add this rotate property to our image. So let's create a new property called this dot rotate and translate. We'll put in our transform here, which will be an array. First one property it'll take is rotate and we'll pass in this dot rotate to it. For translate X and Y, we'll just spread the this dot position inside this. So we'll say three dots this dot position dot get translate transform like we had done earlier. This will automatically convert it to the X and Y axis. Let's save that. And here, let's remove this transform. And instead, let's just put in this dot rotate and translate. Save and refresh. And now if you drag to the left, it rotates nicely to the left. If you drag to the right, it rotates nicely to the right. Since we're working on the rotate, let's add the two texts that come here at the bottom, which is like and nope. So inside our animated view, in our current index, we'll say animated dot view. Let's put in a text inside that. That'll be the like text. Let's style the text. Border width of one. Border color of green. Color of green as well. Let's give it a font size of 32. Font weight of 800 so that it becomes bold and a padding of 10 to distances from the borders. So there we're getting the like button and obviously it's not positioned correctly. So to our parent animated view, let's say style is equal to give it a position of absolute, a top of 50 and a left of about 40 and make sure that it has a Z index which is high enough to keep it on top of everything else. So we'll give it a Z index of 1000. So there we see we're getting the like button where we want, but by default, we want the like button to be tilted slightly. So here we'll put in a transform property, which is an array and inside that it will take rotate and by default, we'll give it a minus 30 degrees. There we see our like button has become diagonal. And we'll just copy this and create the nope button. Copy and paste it, change the color from green to red, 
change the text to nope and let's also change the rotation to a positive of 30 degrees and this will also become positioned to the right instead of left there we have our two texts we need to make sure that they're not visible let's do that by adding the opacity to the animated dot view so here let's put an opacity and we create two properties the first one is this dot like opacity for the like view and for this opacity this dot dislike opacity let's create these two here so below rotate and translate let's say this dot like opacity is equal to this dot position dot x dot interpolate i'm just going to copy this in here so we only want the like to show up when we drag to the right so it's going to be zero when it's dragged to the left and zero when it's at the center and it's going to move towards one when it's dragged to the right let's duplicate that call this dislike opacity and this will be the opposite of that so it'll be one zero zero now you can see both the texts are missing and if we swipe we see nope comes up and we swipe to the right we see like comes up now before we handle the on pan responder release method we'll create two more properties here which will define the card that is next to the card that is being swiped so you want to decrease this slightly in size and we also want to reduce the opacity of this. For that, let's create this dot next card opacity. This will also be this dot position dot x dot interpolate. I'll copy in the same ranges. When we fully swipe to the left, we want it to show so the opacity of one. When we're at the center, we want to show zero. And when we're fully to the right, we want to show one as well. So let's just duplicate this now. The next is next card scale. So when it's completely to the left, we want it to be one. When it's at the center, we want it to be suppose 0.8, slightly smaller. And when it's at the right, we want it to be one. Now let's apply this next card opacity and scale. So come down here in our else statement over here. Let's put in an opacity, which is this dot next card opacity. And for the scale, we'll put a transform, which will be an array inside which it will have an object which will be scale this dot next card scale. Let's save that. Now if we test this, we see that the image at the back nicely zooms in and the opacity changes instead of just directly coming out. Now that our animation values are set up, the last thing we need to do is handle the pan responder release method here. Coming in here, we'll say if gesture state dot dx is greater than say 120 so the user has swiped a considerable distance to the right we'll say animated dot spring this dot position to value and we'll just throw it off the screen so we need screen width and we'll just add an arbitrary value of 100 ahead of that and the y value will go to gesture state dot gesture state dot dy and we'll start that once the card is off the screen, what we want to do is we want to update the current index. So we'll say this dot set state current index is equal to this dot state dot current index plus one. And when that is complete in the callback of the set state, we will update the animated value back to its default value by saying this dot position dot set value X of zero and Y of zero. So let's try the right swipe. There we swipe right. If it's enough distance, it goes out and the next image comes. It gets the pan responder. And we swipe right again. Enough distance and it goes away. The next case would be if it swipes to the left of 120. So let's just copy this. Let's put in an else here and paste it in. We'll say if it's less than minus 120 then move it to a negative of screen width minus 100 and just a state dot dy can remain where it is again when that is complete we'll update the current index and the last else case is if the user has not swiped enough so we'll just say animated dot spring this dot position we'll say please put the image back to its original position by saying x of zero y of zero and putting a friction of say four Make sure that we start all these animations. The first two are started 
this one we need to just add start and let's refresh that so now if we swipe to the right firstly we get the like text on top the image from the back is zooming in we let it go and it animates out we swipe to the left the nope text comes it's again zooming in we let it go it swipes out suppose we do not swipe enough and we leave it there it comes back to its original position so that completes our animation for this swipe tech. Obviously, it can always be improved and made better, but this is the basic understanding of how it works. I really hope you guys like this and try this out. Please like and subscribe.